Justin DeLay from Reverb Sync here, and today we're going to take a closer look at how to get MIDI signals out of Ableton Live into your controllers, your drum machines, your synthesizers, etc. Uh, so in a previous video, we took a look at how to get MIDI signals into Ableton Live. So if you're interested in that, uh, definitely check out the previous video. But now we're going to take a look at syncing this up this way. We're going to go back to preferences as always. Uh, and we're gonna be on the link slash MIDI tab here. And where before we were looking at how to configure the inputs for track input and remote control input, now we're looking at the output. So again, USB port is port one. And output here means MIDI signals from going from Ableton Live to the controller. So what we're primarily concerned about here for the purposes of getting the clock synced up is we're gonna turn on sync, which is the middle button here, turn it on for output one, which is our USB uh, output. And what that'll allow us to do then is whenever Ableton Live is playing, it'll send out a MIDI clock and then all of the cool features inside of this MIDI controller can essentially listen to that MIDI clock and get synced up. Many of these MIDI controllers have settings to tell the controller whether or not it should listen to its own internal clock, independent of Ableton Live, or listen to an external MIDI clock. With this one, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you switch it over to uh, external by going into your global settings and going to MIDI clock and then set, changing the setting to external. We're gonna click that and make sure that that's good to go. And so to demo this, we are just going to play Ableton Live, the loop is gonna play, and the built-in arpeggiator uh, is gonna be synced to the clock of Ableton Live. All right, so like magic now, we've got a bass line that's synced up. Now, specific to this MIDI controller, uh, but something that you might be able to find in others as well, is that you can control the, the, the time division of the arpeggiator so that right now we're in the 16th mode, maybe it's a little fast, we wanna knock it down to 1 8 Right, pretty cool stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And you can jam for hours with this stuff all synced up. The sky is really the limit when it comes to sending MIDI out from Ableton. And it's really one of the most powerful ways to use the software. Uh, and so in a future video, we're gonna be taking a look at not just how to sync up a MIDI controller, but really how to sync up decades worth of music gear, uh, get them all on the right clock together and uh, and start sending some MIDI controls and MIDI notes to them to essentially create a one-man band, create a one-man orchestra, uh, which is really, I think, some of the cool power of bringing a computer into your rig uh, is it allows you basically to have a lot more hands, right, and a lot more uh, musicians all acting uh, in concert, all synced up uh, to, to realize your, your ideas and your musical vision. So that is, uh, that's it for today. Uh, again, I'm Justin DeLay from Reverb Sync. We took a look at Ableton Live, uh, MIDI input, MIDI output, MIDI controllers, uh, and I hope you have fun. Thanks.